hey guys, let's talk about uh, reducing the size of your Google Drives. Um, a lot of you got the email message that said that you need to clean stuff off of it. Um, and I think they gave you some suggestions in there, but I just want to show you exactly how this can work. So I'm on my desktop. I'm going to go down to the yellow folder and I'm going to click it to open File Explorer. <clears throat> now I can scroll down uh, here to Google Drive or find it over here, either one. And this just will let you open your Google Drive just like it's an H drive or anything else. Okay, so I've got that open. Now I'm going to open another window. I'm going to go down here to the yellow folder again, but I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to File Explorer again. This time I'm going to choose my destination where I'm going to put all this stuff. Now it might be OneDrive for you if that's the only place that you have available. Um, for me, I'm putting this on an external hard drive. So that's what I'm going to open up right here. <clears throat> okay. Now you can see that I made these windows small. I took the corner and resized them so that they were little so that I could pit, uh, fit them side by side on the screen. Now you can view these files any way you want to, whatever makes you comfortable. You can view them by icons. You can view them by list, by details. Um, I like details because you can sort by size. However, please understand that if you see something here that is a large file, that doesn't mean it's the largest file in your entire Google Drive. It's the largest file that's sitting in my drive um, right now. But if there is a folder in my drive, it could hold something inside of that that is larger and you're not seeing it right now. Okay, to find truly the biggest files, you would have to open uh, your my drive. Okay, like this, and you have to go down here to storage. And when you do that, it will show you uh, what your biggest files are. And then it can be a little confusing because it's like, well, where is this big giant seven gigabyte video? Um, you can right click on this and you say show file location and it will tell you, oh, that's in my Screencastify. Huh, Screencastify has all these videos that it's been saving for me because I've been downloading them there. Maybe I need to clean that out, okay? That's a great place to start. So this can give you an idea of where to start. Now, as far as moving this stuff over, if it's a video, a picture, any file really other than a Google Drive format, you can just drag and drop these guys right over here, okay? No problem. However, if you find something that is a Google formatted item, so I'm looking over here in this column, if I find a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, um, a Google Form, anything like that, you're not going to be able to save it over here in that format. So if you have something that you do need to save over, and this would probably be in a personal file or something like that, because these are very small, really, and you can have a bazillion of these under our limit. Um, but if you have something that you do want to move, you would want to open that file up and then you would want to uh, save it or download it as a different file type. So you would want to do it as either like in this case, Word, um, but whatever is equivalent or PDF. And for me, what I save it as depends on whether I'm going to edit that again or whether it's just information I just need to save a copy of. OK, I generally save things as PDFs unless I need to edit them in which case I'll do Word, something like that, okay? Once you download those, they'll appear in your bottom tray in Google and you can just drag and drop them right into this window to save a copy. Now, one last thing, once you have moved these things over, um, like this video, right, um, or picture, once you've moved this over, that does not delete out of your Google Drive. It just makes a copy. So you do have to go back to this point, right click on it and delete it to get rid of it. OK, otherwise it's still in Google. So keep up with that um, or it's easy to lose uh, track of what you have already brought over and what you haven't. OK, that's all. Let me know if you need any help. I'm happy to assist.